Hey, this is Peacock Cichlid Colors. We're looking at the Peacock Reader Mail's Perspective. So here's Starburst, my best breeder male for my dragon blood peacocks. And from his perspective, he really likes the ladies, like most males do. And he does better when there's more of them than fewer of them. Now Starburst, he likes to chase the women just like all males do. He chases them, has fun with them. A male peacock breeder, his whole life is about breeding. Nothing else is going on except for maybe some feeding. From his perspective, breeding is his main purpose in life. Here we have a cleared off area and you see some breeding action actually going on. Now, male breeders can breed almost anywhere, but to have the best success, a cleared off area is the best for a good healthy brood to be formed through the breeding process. Now, his territory can be as big as your aquarium, no matter what the size is. So don't try to share your territory with other males with your breeder male. Now if you look here in this aquarium, some of these fish have started to show the signs of being males. I'll show you one in particular. This one right here. Uh, let's look at another one. This is it maybe that's the same one. There's one or two in here, and so what you need to do is take those males out because, from Starburst's perspective, competition is not what he wants. He wants to be the only and main male in the aquarium. He doesn't have a buddy system, he doesn't want to be around other male fish. So, from his perspective, more females the better and no males is even the best thing to have. From Starburst's perspective, more breeding actions going on is what he likes the best. He wants to have constant breeding action. And to do this, you need to have plenty of females because it does take time after having a brood of fish to recover to be able to breed again. That's why there's so many females in here, because from his perspective, this is paradise to have this many females in here. So the more females, the happier your breeder male is going to be. So from his perspective, more females, the better. And the last thing I want to tell you from his perspective, he really likes the sand substrate. Many of you already know that, but it helps in the breeding process. It keeps them busy, keeps them out of trouble, and it's just a natural way for him to set up a breeding area. And so that's what keeps him happy, just to be able to sift some sand, move it around, getting the females interested. You know, it shows the females that, uh, that this breeder male is uh, an attractive, healthy male by all the sand he's moving around, different things, maybe things we don't even know about to make the sand move in a certain way just so that uh, the females are attracted. And like I say, if you already have a cleared off spot, he likes that. The breeder male likes it. This has been a breeder male's perspective. Thanks for watching.